Fortnite Creative can be a bit hit and miss when it comes to incredible maps. But fret not, because in this video, I will show you some of the most amazing maps out there that I found in the past month or so. Now, like always, these maps are not sponsored to be here. They're here because, you know, I think they're pretty cool, creative, and worth playing. So let's get right to it. First up, we got Fracture Reshaped by Genesis Studios. Now, if you haven't played this yet, it's probably one of the best maps I've seen ever, really. Fracture Reshaped reimagines one of Fortnite's most iconic storylines. Answering the question, what if things have gone differently during the Zero Fusion event? In this alternate reality, Paradigm uncovers a weapon capable of destroying the Chrome, which has now engulfed the loop. You must team up with Paradigm and Jones and take on the Herald of the Last Reality before the corruption spreads to other worlds. Ooh. So basically what this entire map is, is a full live event made inside UAFN by some pretty talented people. And it's really good. And if you're really into Fortnite story and you're disappointed by what happened, because, we, you know, it was, it, was, it was definitely something anyways, um, this is probably what it should have been. So I recommend go checking this one out. Next up, we got Real Riders by VBD Crate. Rail Riders is a thrilling space themed platformer where you gotta run, sprint, whatever, slide, jump through this really cool like little like raceway or whatever. It reminds you of things like Sonic. And it's not about just getting to the end, it's about doing it in style. There's a bunch of boost pads, there's a bunch of coins you can collect, and there's a bunch of there's a really cool like camera angles that like dynamically change to what you're doing. It's it's pretty cool. And the visuals while you're going through is is, is, is just pretty good. So whenever you're a speedrun fanatic or you just love a well-designed platformer, I'd give this one a thumbs up and you should probably go check it out. Next up on our list is Puzzle Rumble by Shock Fun. If you love classic arcade puzzle games with a competitive twist, Puzzle Rumble is perfect for you. The gameplay centers around matching numbers tiles to clear your board faster than your opponent. But it's more than just matching numbers. Similar to like something like Tetris 99, you can build up attacks that you can use to like throw off through your fighting. And there's also a solo campaign mode with over 100 stages. You can earn coins while you play to unlock some cool cosmetics. So whenever you're battling your friends, randoms, or uh, just playing by yourself, I think this is pretty unique and I haven't really seen anything like this before. So I I'd recommend go checking it out. As you know, back in November, Epic added uh, TMNT Islands. One of them would be TMT Dimensions Roguelike by TMNT Plays. It's a roguelike where you'll travel through portals and it's a beat em up. So it's just like you, you, you kill a bunch of these cool, like custom NPCs, a clan, and it gets harder and harder as you go on. It's a roguelike. And when you die, which you will, you can go back to your hub and you can upgrade all your different stuff, like you can buy better stats for all the turtles. You can get like stuff around your house that gives you bonuses or this looks cool, I guess. And if you get enough power, you can you can summon in turtles and get them fighting for you. And once you get you know strong enough, you'll then face Shredder, and there'll be an epic boss battle where you fight him. So if you like beat em ups, teenagers and ninja turtles, or you know just you know, whatever, then go check this one out. Next up, we got Boulder Escape by Cooley Sushi. Boulder Escape is the ultimate test of speed, similar to the games like Crash Bandicoot, where you're running away from something. You and up to seven friends can run away from this giant boulder that's chasing after you. You can jump, dodge through a bunch of chasms. <laughs> It can get pretty hard sometimes because you need to keep with the pace and you can't really take a break because there's a giant boulder coming after you. So only the quickest will survive. There's also a leaderboard for the fastest times you can check out, which is really cool. And it's, you know, it's pretty challenging. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty simple, but you know, sometimes simple can be, can be good, you know? It's just plain fun. So if you want to go check it out, go ahead. Next up, we got Pursuit Race by Zaheim. Pursuit Race is all about high-speed chases, like something you sound a need for speed. You can play as a police car, trying to catch up to the drivers, or as like a as a, as a criminal or whatever, completing tasks to avoid capture. It's a, whole, it's a whole cat and mouse game where you have to drive through a city and do stuff. There's a whole system where police can, you know, arrest you, Again, kind of like Need for Speed. And if you're a police, you need to, you know, take out, you, you know, you need to pin down the, the criminals. And if you're a criminal, you need to, you know, run away from the police. It's really cool because there's customizable cars. There's like uh, liveries you can put on. It's, it's, it's really cool. I'd say grab some friends and check it out. Next up, we got something that's uh, a little bit different, but the Game Awards vote in Fortnite by the Game Awards. Uh, if you know, Game Awards happen every single year, and I just threw this onto the list because uh, it's pretty crazy how Fortnite maps are now, you know, going to be in the Game Awards. 
I know what happened last year, but there's 10 nominated islands and you need to vote for uh, your favorites. And then when the Game Awards come around, uh, I think on the 12th of December, the uh, the winner will be announced during the show. And there's also a really uh, a really weird looking uh, metahuman, Jeff Keighley there. But uh, anyways, I just threw this into this map showcase because uh, voting is open until December 11th at 9 p.m. ET. If you watch this after, you already won't be able to vote. But uh, if you're watching before then, you'll be able to uh, go into this island and vote for the best Fortnite creative map of the year. So I say go do it. Next up, we got Dreamlands by me. Now, Dreamlands is a single player story focused experience spanning 40 chapters over the course of four seasons. <laughs> it's pretty long. It's about 40 hours long. Uh, there's about, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty big. It's, it's, you know, it's a passion project of mine. Just recently, all the islands have been updated with uh, Lumen graphics, except for season four. Season four is coming out soon. And soon season one will be getting a remake, which is pretty cool. So if you haven't checked out Dreamlands, I'd say go check it out. Or if you just want to wait till the remake, you can do that as well, but it's fine. Anyways, next thing on our list is Zombie Fort by Vezi Matteo. Zombie Fort is the ultimate zombie survival map where every wave is more challenging than last. It gets pretty difficult. You'll start off with basic gear, but as you earn money by eliminating zombies, you can unlock new areas, upgrade weapons, and discover hidden secrets. Power-ups and crafting benches add layers of strategy, while the final boss provides an epic finale. So yeah, if you ever played Call of Duty Zombies, this is, uh, you know, basically that. <laughs> so whenever if you're playing by yourself or with friends, this map can offer hours of intense survival-based gameplay. And there's also about 50 waves too, so it gets pretty difficult. Anyways, next up on our list is a pretty cool one. It's Ultimate Space Battle by <laughs> Vglab. Take to the fight to the stars with Ultimate Space Battle, a top-down free-for-all shooter set in the arena of cosmic chaos. Choose from five unique ships, each with its own abilities and stats, and battle your way to level 100. The fast-paced combat keeps you on your toes, and the detailed visuals make every match feel pretty epic. There's a whole like custom HUD with like how much that boost you got or whatever. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm not actually really sure how they actually got it to work, but um, it might be a combination of skydive volumes and Niagara, but I'm not sure. But anyways, if you're whenever you're a fan of space-themed games or just want to blow stuff up in style, this map would be a really good choice. So go check it out. I activated build mode as the last map on this video, but not least is Vector Fortnite by FN Chris. Vector Fortnite is based on the game Vector, where it turns Fortnite into a 2D parkour uh, like game with a really cool animated style that you need to run, climb, and sprint through 10 levels set across three different scenarios, each with unique challenges. The side-scroller look is uh, pretty fun. Don't see a lot of maps using it, but uh, this uses it pretty well, so it looks really cool. It's pretty challenging. It's a, you know, it's a platformer, side-scroller platformer. It's pretty unique. You don't really see much like it, so I recommend go check this one out. And that will do it for the map show case for December, I believe. I think it's December, right? Now remember, all of these maps are inside of my creator profile, inside of my creator picks, if you want to go check that out. And also, all of them are also in the description below if you want to easily go to the creators or like, get the codes of the islands. And remember, if you want your map featured in these videos, don't be afraid to put them down in the comments below. Just remember the three rules, no repeats, no spamming, and no guarantees. That's the last one. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, remember to like, subscribe, uh, use my code for arm shop. Thank you to all the members of the channel. Support means a lot to me. And yeah, watch all these videos for more of my map showcases. I do these every month. I'll see you next month. Goodbye.